Oh, God, help me this morning. I've got to have help. I can't preach this thing this morning, Lord, without a special anointing. We, the shepherds, Lord, we have got to hear from you. Lord, we don't want to just... It's not a matter of just being spanked and spanked and spanked, Lord. You're going to continue operating till you get it all out. You're going to keep at us, Lord, because you love us. You're trying to raise up an effective tool to be used to your glory. My Lord, finish. Do the work in me this morning. Even while I minister it, speak to our hearts. Lord, I know if you've ever given me a word from heaven, you gave this to me to minister to my heart. I want to accept it this morning even while I'm preaching it. Uh, I bear witness this morning, Father, that I need you. We need you. And, Lord, I believe you're going to speak to us. Though you reprove us, you're going to do it in the most tender, loving way you can. I feel your love this morning as we minister this. I feel your tenderness. And speak tenderly to our hearts. Amen. When you read about shepherds in the Bible, do you take it personal? Boy, I do. When I see shepherds, hey, that's me. And I, I don't slush it off anymore. I said, God, dig it into me. As for the prophets, my heart's broken within me. All my bones tremble. I've become like a drunken man, even like a man overcome with wine because of the Lord and because of his holy words. For the land is full of adulterers. For the land mourns because of the curse. The pastures of the wilderness have dried up. Their course also is evil and their might is not right. For both prophet and priest are polluted. Even in my house, I've found their wickedness, declares the Lord. Even in my house, I've found their wickedness. The wickedness of who? My shepherds. I've found their wickedness. I've found them out. And I share this. Every sin that I mention, I'm as guilty as everybody else in this place. Also, among the prophets of Jerusalem, I've seen a horrible thing. The committing of adultery and walking in falsehood. And they strengthened the hands of evildoers so that no one has turned back from his wickedness. All of them become to me like Sodom and inhabitants like Gomorrah. Can you imagine him saying that about shepherds? They, they are as wicked in my sight as Sodom and Gomorrah, the Sodomites of Sodom. And that, when I saw that, that frightens me. And I know God's saying something very heavy. You see what he's saying here, that a man of God has sent his life a danger to the church. Because the Bible says they're walking in false and they strengthen the hands of evildoers. Will you let him deal with you for a while as we wait on him in just a moment? Will you let him probe just a little bit deeper? I carry in my heart now a glorious promise. A truly pious man is really a, a happy man.